But one cause of miscarriages is what we call natural killer cells. Now, natural killer cells are basically lymphocytes. They're a type of white blood cells that help to fight off infections such as viruses and cancer cells by removing them from the body. Now, it is normal to have natural killer cells in your bloodstream and uterus as they help to prepare your body for embryo implantation and to maintain your pregnancy. So the natural killer cells in the uterus protect the fetus from infections while the natural killer cells in the bloodstream help to fight off the infection and all the other foreign bodies. Now studies have shown that in women who had recurrent miscarriages, there were high levels of natural killer cells in the bloodstream and the uterus, which are thought to account for one third of miscarriages due to unknown causes. This means that the natural killer cells look at the cells of the fetus or the baby as foreign bodies, similar to viruses and cancer, and attack them leading to miscarriage. It is also thought that natural killer cells can occur or increase levels if your body is under stress, it could be stress at work, stress at home. So there's a link between stress and high levels of natural killer cells, other conditions such as endometriosis, polycystic ovarian syndrome, pelvic inflammatory disease, as well as autoimmune conditions such as thyroid, diabetes, and other conditions. So now the question is, how do I know if I've got this high level of natural killer cells? Well, to find out if you've got high level of natural killer cells, you should be seen at a miscarriage clinic. This is a clinic that deals with women who've had recurrent miscarriages. So we're talking at least three consecutive miscarriages in a row. You know, the clinic will be wanting to do blood tests. They would also want to take a sample of the lining of your uterus, known as endometrial biopsy, to help to check the levels of your natural killer cells in the bloodstream and the uterus as well. Now, in terms of treatment, there are different treatment protocols being used and the aim is to reduce the high levels of the natural killer cells as well as to suppress the activity. So we're talking about medications such as aspirin, which helps to thin the blood, prednisolone, which are steroids, you know, which help to suppress the activity of the natural killer cells, IV immunoglobulins, which also suppresses the activity of the natural killer cells. You have folic acid, which is essential for the growth of the baby, as well as um, progesterone pessaries, which you know maintains your pregnancy. Then you have this intralipid therapy, as well as other therapies, depending on the miscarriage clinic you attend, which are all meant to suppress the activity of the natural killer cells. So again, with I hope this helps. I hope this has been useful. I hope this has given you more insight into what might be causing your miscarriage. So if you're a woman and you've had recurrent miscarriages, do not blame yourself. You know, a lot of cases are due to reasons way beyond your understanding, way beyond what you think you might have done to yourself. Of course, you can control lifestyle factors such as reducing your smoking, your alcohol, you know, trying to lose weight, you know, trying to reduce your stress levels. But if you've got autoimmune conditions such as thyroid, diabetes, you know, high blood pressure, again, looking at controlling these conditions and then investigating what other possible causes there might be for what might be causing your miscarriage, such as the natural killer cells. So make sure you attend a miscarriage clinic to investigate further and you can get the right treatment that will enable you to get a healthy pregnancy that you can successfully see to delivery. Hope you enjoyed this video.